And I've been teaching this class for a very long time, so I've developed all of these practice handouts, and they're posted in Angel, and you can work through them on your own, and there are answers at the end. So that stuff has been available. Think about the flipped arrangement as, now I'm giving you what I would present to you in lecture. You can access it at the time that's, you know, works best for you. You can listen to it as many times as you want. Um, and then you get to come to class, and I have all of this stuff ready for you to study in class, basically. To, you know, I, and I'm setting it all up for you, that this is your opportunity. You really need to do that stuff outside of class, because then you get to capitalize on the fact that I'm giving you all of this practice, and I'm laying it out, instead of you having to generate those you know, examples on your own or whatnot, or even you know, what often happens with the practice sheets, at least in my class, is that you post them, they're available to students. Students go, they look at them, they don't try to do them, they go and look at the answers and they're like, oh yeah, that's totally what I would have gotten. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. So they confuse what, they have this, well, what psychologists call this hindsight bias issue, where once they've seen the answer, they're convinced that that's what they would have gotten. Um, and what you can do in the flipped classroom is by setting it up in a way that they have to work through them and they don't have the answers, is you, you make their learning and in some instances, their lack of learning, conspicuous to them. The ones who think that they've listened to the lecture and they've got it all down, they totally understand it, come in and then you throw some examples at them and they're like, whoa, no, that's, and they're debating with their group mates about what the answer would be. And, and so to me, that's very effective. That helps them make the distinction between understanding the material and actually learning it. Can you synthesize it? Can you apply it? Can you critique it? You know, those types of things that I think we're all ultimately trying to get our students to.